Uh, so Tom, the classic question after a draw, do you see that as two points dropped or a point gained? It's a difficult one. We just had a, you know, quite a serious conversation in there about, you know, the, the re reoccurring thing that has happened is we've gone into the lead in a lot of games and we've not been able to see it out at 1-0. Now we understand, you know, at this level of the game, the teams, whoever you're playing, and by the way, these are a good, they're a good side. We understand what's going on behind the scenes, but the people who run that football team are top, top people, top pros, great coaches, they know what they're doing and they've got good players, by the way. So we weren't expecting an easy ride and we, we did warn the lads of that. And uh, I think first half was a little bit like a sparring game and we've got our noses in front again. So the disappointment is we've given up the lead, but I can't not be happy with a point because I thought they were better than us in the second half. Um, and I think that was a little bit of naivety, a little bit of possibly the schedule catching up with us as well. You know, same same for them. It, but it's it is what it is. We've we've stayed with a, a fairly similar group for the last two and a half games, and they've you know they've done really well for us. So, you know, we'll be back to the drawing board. Um, we'll have a rest day tomorrow. We'll be back in on Thursday with another home game at. Uh, at the EBB on Saturday. Well, we got put ahead by Laurent Tolage's goal. It was a fantastic strike, wasn't it? I mean, when you've got a striker that can score goals out of nothing like that, it, it must help, mustn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think he was getting a little frustrated because I don't think we retained the, the ball well enough um, for most of the half, you know, up until then. And we made a hell of a lot of passes then because I managed to get the message on just to keep the ball for a little bit, give themselves a breather. And then when we made the pattern and we got him into that spot that he likes getting into, and once he lets go with that left foot, if you let him shoot un un unopposed, he's likely to break the net. So it was a really good strike, but um, I think he'll be the first to admit him, Jack, Josh, weren't quite at it like at the, at the top of their game, but they weren't the only people on the pitch like that as well. So, like I said, at the end of the day, you know, if you put the ten points back on them, they'd be around where we are, I think, in the table anyway. So it's, I think it's a, it's a good point rather than a point or two points lost. You obviously we held on uh, after Boreham Wood fighting back on Saturday, didn't we? And is there a little bit then of disappointment that we couldn't do the same tonight? I know obviously there will be. It's quite an obvious one, but you know. Mm. Yeah, it is. But I mean, you know, you've got to give credit to the the opposition. You've got to give credit to the. the, the the lad who's changing the team to make it different you know the changes that they made were positive ones and they asked questions of us I thought you know Geordie on, on the whole looked big in his goal and, and made them with that what it happens is they, they tend to not to shoot when you when they see that that size in the goal so from that point of view you know we're disappointed to concede but ultimately you know did they have enough possession and territory to have warranted a goal probably um, did they have enough clear-cut chances probably not so I thought we scrambled well in our box as we did against Boreham Wood but that's that's a given in this division if you if you're not strong to stand up to a barrage of balls in your box in this league you're going to lose most weeks um, like I said we you know we will move on from the game as quickly as we moved into it we've got to hope that we haven't got any anything too serious in the way of knocks or niggles because a few of them lads you can see visibly they, you know they're, they're tired and everybody say oh it's their job we know we know it's their job but I've just said to them we don't drive our cars looking out the back window we look out the front window so we've got to move on to tomorrow and then after tomorrow we move on to tomorrow after that so that's where we are